Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to my channel. And today we are back here with uh, City Skylines on the PS4. Now, this is the city we did. Look at that airplane up in the air, look. Two of them. And I don't have any of that at the minute. Look, let's just have a little look at this arrow. Oh, yep. I up. I up. Hello. 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 Oh, ah, eh, hello. Whoa. Look at that. Very nice. Uh, so, we are here to talk about roads. Now, this is how we uh, set up our city yesterday. Actually, it's quite foggy, isn't it? Do you know what? Let's, uh, let's quit. Let's quit and start again. All this happens really quite easily, quite quickly. So, the first thing we're going to do is look at how to, we'll just start a new map, the basic one, left-hand traffic, go, go. So what we're going to do is look at a nice way of setting your initial highway roads uh, to start with. Now it's a bit weird because the way that the game works, there is a, a barrier system, a wall system if you like, uh, whereby you can't use certain assets until you have used previous assets, certainly at the beginning. So this is much nicer weather. Here we see our highway, one coming in, one going out. So both one way roads. Now we have to connect these up before we do anything. Now when we start, hey, I didn't even know I could do that. What did I just do? Look at that, you push up and it brings you up all of the roads. Wow. I didn't know that, guys. You push up on the D-pad. That's awesome. So you can see all these different types of roads you can have and all the information at the bottom, how much they cost, what they'll do, etc., etc. But the only one we have access to when you start the game, you don't have even access to this gravel road, but you have access to this small road. So first thing to do, similar to what we did, and I always try and keep the snap on. So you see these grids that are appearing. That is just to help you sort of um, keep your OCD in check with how much, uh, how far you are <laughs> zoning. Um, and the blue shaded area is what will appear in zonable squares. So you see this road has four deep of zonable squares, which is great. So when you start doing your um, your roads, you, you're automatically in straight line mode. So usually what people do is they sort of do this and then they sort of do that. Uh, and then that's their first sort of road that, you know, there you go. That's the first bit of roads, but it makes this junction here rather, rather nasty. And it also makes this junction um, pretty bad when it comes, when the, when the city's growing, it, it's just not a nice, uh, way of doing things. So if we bulldoze this little bit out This is essentially how we had it yesterday, but then as you see the cars the traffic can come in and it gets here But then it can't actually physically go back up because that's a one way a, a one way road It's a one way road ladies and gentlemen a one way road So you want to do something a little bit more interesting now because we've put our first piece of road down suddenly all of these other roads are open to us. One, uh, two lane, one way, one way road. What? Who am I, Jonathan Ross? It's a two lane, one way road. Uh, also, you have four lane roads. You also have these massive, like almost motorways and one lane motorways. Now these are pretty bloody big roads, but brilliantly, you also have a roundabout. You can stick a roundabout in wherever you want. So. What we want to do is do something a little bit better than stick in uh, what we've stuck in. But now we've stuck it in, we can delete it. And when we come to our roads, we have access to the other roads that we want, okay? So the first thing to do is just whack a small road down and then delete it, essentially. And let's put something a little bit better in. Now these roads here are sort of three lane, one way highways. Um, so do we have anything similar to that? We have 
six lanes we have six lane one one way woad which is too much really but what is this a two lane one way woad or a four lane one way woad uh i'm going to go with this one way okay so we've now selected the the what is that what is this why is it doing that is it is it doing that because it's saying ah it's saying it would have to build a concrete pillar in order to build then uh it's because i you see if you push up and down ladies and gentlemen look at this look how your column rise look how your column rises ladies and gentlemen that's by pushing up and down to raise and lower the road so if you want it to go over things you can do that if you want it to go under you can actually make a tunnel if we selected that there and we drove it down here and then we went down down you can see the tunnel starts over there so you can do tunnels you can do all sorts of things but what we're going to want to do is this road just to come in um, and then get into a point where we can join a main roundabout okay that's what we want to do so let us click this in here and we're just going to come in we're going to try and keep it vaguely uniform we go there and then we go over to let's just do it to about there now that's a straight road if we want a straight road if we come out of that and push uh, hold down uh, triangle that gives us all of the different options for the road so and, and it will also give you all of the different options for anything you're building you see it appears down next to the bulldozer in the bottom left it says road menu is hold down triangle for the circular menu so we're going to choose curved so then what you need to do is choose the first point of the road then you want to choose the point at which is the apex of the curve if you like so I'm gonna say there and then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna put a little curved road in like that happy days Bosch Da, 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 da. and you see it does the zoning for you as well we'll do the same thing here click there we're going to come across to one and then we're going to come down to here same and it sort of gives you these guidelines to show you if it's vaguely roughly in the same place as your other one and that says it is if i came it here that's the one i want it lines up there we go and they should be pretty uniform and they look pretty nice to me so let's get rid of that and choose a little roundabout a little roustabout now you can see on the left there it says rotate so let's rotate it a little to about there you see the highway things are still showing because we actually haven't physically connected the highway properly yet uh, so if we then put that roundabout in it's in come back and go to our one-way road and we will just we're still on curved it'll always still be on curved so whatever you've left it on you can see the curved is highlighted in blue it'll it'll automatically stay on that so just bear that in mind so we need to click there come across a little bit not much even if we just come to there that's fine and then go there there you go we've got our little road do the same thing here come across a little up to there bosh is that actually joined yeah now the reason why the highway signs are still going hold on is because as you see the one ways are going the wrong way we come in here fine we come this way fine oh that road you can only go that way so you have to hold down and go change direction okay and then you highlight a piece of road and you just click it and you can change the way of the direction so we need to do this one as well and we that one is part of the roundabout so it doesn't have it this one is the same we need to change that and we need to change that and then oh we've gone the wrong way so this way this way bosh and then we have set up a nice little entryway into the town so because these are all one ways 
you know, you could put something in the middle here, coming in from both of these. Um, you can obviously have things coming off here, but if they come off here, you just got to be aware of your traffic flow. Is is what I'm saying. That's what you've you've got to be aware of. I'm gonna sneeze. Tuna fish surprise. Oh yeah, baby, sneezing. So the change direction thing is really important. It took, I totally forgot about it. But for your one ways, it really makes um, a big difference. And as you can see, it automatically updates all of these lanes that says, look, all three of these lanes have got to go that way. But when you come and look at the roundabout, same, it's always left-hand turn here in the, in, the, um, in the UK. So this turn, you have to go that way. And here, the left-hand lane allows you to turn in here but it also allows you to go forward like that. But on roundabouts, obviously you have to go forward. You can't, here in the UK, you have you have to go around um, clockwise. In France, etc. you go around anti-clockwise, you would go this way. Uh, so that is a little bit of immediate roading for you. Uh, One-way one roads, that's your one-way roads, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if we start looking at some other things, let's just look at some smaller roads. Uh, we've got a little, um, well, I'll tell you what, let's just put a normal road from here. Now, remember, we're still on change direction, so it's not actually going to allow us to put a road down. So remember, you've got to hold down um, triangle and get your straight road back. And then I can start putting... Uh, roads back in right so let's just do uh, a big diagonal road like this and here we'll do a big diagonal road like that okay now as you can see that single straight road it brings off four um, sort of four zonable areas if we look at it the inspector mode that's telling me what the inspector mode is if we look at this road um, Actually, you do it here. So if you use this, it says supports low traffic. Now, the size of the road depends on how big, um, how big a sort of density of building you can put in. So I'm hopefully we can demonstrate that by putting off a couple of little roads here. We'll see the difference in what sort of uh, grows here. So if we just put a, a little crappy road, like this so this is a service road uh, and then here we'll put we've done the small roads so we've got some let's put a big road in yeah okay we won't put it there because it's a bit close let's put it here we'll put a massive road in and you see the road takes up a bit more space but it still only provides four squares of um, zonable zonable material um, and then you get e these even bigger roads so over here right at the end we'll put this massive massive highway thing so this supports much more traffic costs more money costs more to upkeep as well but also it supports much higher density buildings so as your city grows you need to have like the the houses that will spawn n next to this like tiny little gravel dirt road are going to be like caravan parks and shacks and you know little trailer parks and things like that on normal roads it'll be normal houses on these bigger roads they will be um you know much more grand houses you know bigger properties if you like uh, and on these huge ones even more so so you've got to sort of work out whether or not you want to have um, houses on these for for example these massive big because you don't really want to have houses alongside these huge highways you know that's people a they're not going to like that because the traffic density on this road is going to cause a lot of a lot of bloody uh, nastiness um, see that rock there that rock is in the way can we bulldoze that rock Yes, we can. Yes, we can, ladies and gentlemen. And then we can zone the whole of that area. 
and that. So we're going to make all of this commercial. Let me just bulldoze that rock. Haha, -ha, rock. Bang. And then obviously these, these little bits here, the smaller this space, it, the smaller sort of type of property will be able to spawn. Uh, and let's try and put some... Um, I don't think many people are going to want to live in the middle of this roundabout, but let's just see if they do. That could be quite interesting. Uh, we'll make all of this as well residential. Uh, and we'll just see how that spawns in. Of course, just quickly, we need to just put in a couple of bits of power. Let's have uh, 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 let's have a bit of wind. There's a bit of wind. Uh, let's get the power lines down from here. It doesn't it doesn't really matter. You wouldn't do it like this. You wouldn't you wouldn't make it so brazenly horrible. Uh, let's just try and get everybody in. Let's see. Why is it saying space already? Oh, I see. No, right. You see, it's it can't go over that road. It would destroy that bit of road. Because the actual power line, if you see, is in the road. So you have to sort of move it so that none of the power lines are actually in the road. So that works. Bang! Straight through the center of the city like you would do that. Of course you wouldn't. Um, and let's just quickly put in the, the water. There's a bit of water there for you. Very nice. We'll just put the pipe in. Uh, let's just come all the way down here, all the way up here, all the way across here. Look at this piping. Oh, angle was too too great. There you go. That's some amazing pipage. Now you can connect these pipes up, um, which probably makes it a little bit more uh, efficient, but it also spreads sewage if sewage is spreadable uh, we also need to just put a couple more of these over just to put this dude happy there you go mate that's you sorted and just while we're here let's put the waste in fact let's just put the waste by the water <laughs> oops there you go mate uh, and you just need one pipe and that's you done okay so the city is ready let's see who who comes in so let's put put it on max 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 power is he connected is he connected yeah he is right so you see buildings are going in people are actually um coming into these little these little houses why that's saying no power and you'll see see the difference of the hopefully you'll see the difference of the people do you not have any power dude jeesh let's get you some power there you go power connected that up why he's saying he's not got any power i don't know let's just stick you into there is that better Are you happy now so as people come into the city, you see the types of buildings that are coming along these roads are much bigger. And if we inspect them, it's still a low density three of three household, but it is it, it has the ability to um, get a lot better. Educate more citizens to let the building be upgraded. Yep, yeah, there you go. So this can up, be upgraded five times. You see that sort of green bar, etc. Uh, this one the same let's go and have a look at what we got here low density only one of one households because it's a tiny little place same thing have we got anybody coming down in our in our shacks come down shackville shackville town ladies and gentlemen that's what we want to see we've got some uh, commercial buildings coming in already as well it was very quick how quickly um, people came in. We need to build some industry, so let's just zone some industry just because. You, I mean, you wouldn't really do this like this, but 
uh, how do you clear the zone like that like that strange how you have to clear it first before you put new in but the the um, the industrial things that should spawn down here here now should be pretty damn good when they start coming in right here they go the plots are starting to get filled it's starting to be built yeah look at these big big industrial buildings look mahusive factories what have we got here ready to wear limited yep nice multiple problems they got no power they got no water why is that let's see they should have power and water oh look they're just out of the pipe see where i did that i did that really badly that's all right though now i've fixed it i'm gonna stick that onto there as well happy days power the power should start coming but it might just be that there's not enough power being generated which i think is probably the case let's have a look and see no nope. consumption three production seven so it should be fine and it's gone totally dark all of these guys don't have any power why is that oh you see because they're not connected all we need to do is stop it what are you doing all we need to do is that there you go and then all those will have power there it goes they they just weren't connected to the grid but look at that look at all these look how big these industrial buildings are because they have the space to be built um if you had them on much smaller roads they wouldn't build such large properties now where are our why is nobody coming into slumsville slumsville tennessee see all of those industrial buildings got built immediately which was fantastic let's see if we need to put a couple more in let's just uh delete that off put another bank of industry in nope doesn't look like it looks all right now and big bank commercial and here we go what have we got here right let's have a look at this well it seems that these houses seem to be the same low density residential building well there you go then ladies and gentlemen the road means nothing other than how much traffic it can take well that's good isn't it and there you go it's that quick to make a real city That's interesting why are these houses so big i thought that they because it's on such a small road it would be a smaller building how funny is that maybe there is some truth to that i mean they don't look as nice as these ones do they do they yes they do they are exactly the same so there you go ladies and gentlemen exactly the same low density but i think what it means is on this type of road you aren't able to upgrade the buildings um, sufficiently you would have to upgrade the road first um, and sometimes when you upgrade the roads they the roads get bigger so literally they the physical appearance of the road gets bigger and lots of the buildings suddenly get demolished so it's always a good I oh look at that cats everybody loves cats see how thriving this city is now as easy as that to get a thriving metropolis why hasn't he got any power why haven't any of them got power is that because the power has has the power finally yes consumption eight production seven no good so what we do is we whack another one of these in just bosh it there done and the power will come back so all these people are saying that the, the drinking water's dirty 
etc. And you see the garbage has opened as well, ladies and gentlemen, as has the healthcare and the education. So I don't recommend running the game on um, mega quick like that. Um, and you hold down L3 to change the speed. So it's a good thing to sort of pre-plan your roads um, as best you can. Sometimes you're constrained with you're constrained with the the amount they cost. Obviously, that's not going to help you. Um, but just be aware, roads like this, these uh, where is the little slum road, little slummed old millionaire road. And if you want to upgrade the roads, what you do is you get into your roads menu, hold down upgrade then you choose the road you want it to upgrade to so let's say we now want to go to we've got any more some nicer roads well let's just say the the no we can't do the one-way one let's just say this big one I mean you wouldn't really do that and as you see if we upgrade that in order to you would need to upgrade this road in order to upgrade the houses around it all of those houses would be demolished which you don't want it just causes untold pain um, that's what the de demolished symbol is showing you if we did that all those would be demolished so it's a good idea to plan out as best you can how you want your road set up and also remember when you're in the road menu you see the icon in the bottom left change hold down and you can change these options that's how you upgrade your roads you repair roads same thing you just uh, you've got to highlight the right road and then you can repair it obviously none of the roads are broken at the minute um, change direction we've showed you that one on one-way roads you can sort that out you can freeform draw roads if you want to put a new road in from somewhere so you can sort of go I don't even know what the freeform thing's doing Oh, you sort of go to there, and then you can go, right, I'm going to have a curve here. Then I'm going to go that way, like this, which is quite nice for doing things if you're trying to make something look like, you know, like your, your house or something, something you remember. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of things you can do. You can raise and lower. You can put bridges in. If we put this over here like this and then raised it up. Can't raise it up, but we could put a tunnel in. And then raise it back up so the tunnel comes out. There you go. So that, that road goes all the way under there. Obviously, nobody can build around it, but it can go underneath things. And then you can build another road over the top of it. There you are, it's as simple as that. And then you go in, zone all your roads. These sort of t um, tunnels are really quite cool for bypassing things and getting other places. Um, so there you go, get in, have a little play. Um, and if you do things wrong, get the bulldozer out and just bulldoze the whole lot later today. Tatty bye.